Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah, hi every hi everybody. Uh today it is my birthday as you may or may not know I turn 18 today. So uh yeah, that's a uh, pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm yeah, uh I'm 18 now. So that's cool because now I can do 18 year old stuff like buy alcohol and shit. But yeah, um that's about all I have to say about that. Just wanted to point out that it was my birthday. Sorry, that sounds really vain, doesn't it? But yeah, anyway, yeah, I decided to bring uh, you guys a video just to celebrate the occasion. It's not an overly, like, fun match. It was just an OU match, so... Well, it was fun, obviously, but not like a fun birthday-related thing. But yeah, it's an OU match, as you see from that team preview. Um, and I'm just going to get into it straight about here, because I've been rambling on for long enough already. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it's, I'm going to lead off with my Infernape, just as always, just uh, because to get the Switch initiative to scout what he wants to uh, lead with and all that sort of stuff. Um, he does lead off with his Jirachi so I just decide best options probably to you turn out because likelihood is this thing especially defensive so um, it will be able to take a um, overheat or a close combat so yeah because I obviously don't have full investment and overheat probably won't do full amount just because of uh, of it not also not having full investment and Jirachi being a bulky motherfucker so yeah um, I go into my Landorus because I'm pretty sure I want to go for the Thunder Wave or an Iron Head either way I can take one of them um, and I just decided to go for the sub on uh, his switch out, but he really got this Gyarados, and this Gyarados was actually pretty hard to kill, so I sped this part up a little bit, because I had problems with this Gyarados, man. It was uh, bad times. Well, I, I had trouble taking down a lot of his team, actually. I don't know why, it's just a lot of his thing just gave me trouble. Um, but I'm pretty sure this thing is just going to want to go for water moves, and I'm and because um, obviously I've got Roger, who can pretty much wall most Gyarados sets, as long as they don't carry... Dragon Tail, which this one happens to, because obviously he goes last here. Um, but that's fine, because it still does nothing, even at plus one. Um, and he seems to want... I don't know why, but he goes for the uh, he goes for the Dragon Tail again here, when he could have easily killed me off with the Waterfall, so that means I can just go for a nice Ice Call Crash and uh, do a lot of damage to him. And now he goes for the Dragon Dance, I guess, not realising that um, Dragon Tail has minus priority, because he, like... I don't know. But I thought an Ice Shard would actually be able to kill here, uh, so that's why I went for it, but it turns out it can't. He lives on an absolute, the tiniest of smidgens. And he just goes for Dragon Tail again, I don't know why. I thought he was going to go for uh, Waterfall. But now i got Roger in here, um, who can just go for the Giga Drain um, and kill easily kill off his Gyarados in this range. But he does go for the Waterfall, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to get as much damage off from me as he can, but that does not happen because obviously I have Storm Drain, uh, which most people don't seem to realise, which is always why it's useful to which is why it's always useful to have a Cradelia around, because no one knows what its ability is and no one knows what it does, and they underestimate it and then they get wrecked by those massive dildos all over its neck. So he goes on to Sparathorn now, I guess, thinking um well thinking he can take a hit from me, and he's correct. Um, and I just go into my Gliscor, because obviously Gliscor can wall any Ferrothorn set pretty much. Um yeah, it can wall any Ferrothorn set, it can just taunt, and then it forces them to go to free the Power Whip or Gyrable, and then I can just Earthquake them down from here. Judging by how much my Earthquake's, or how little my Earthquake's doing, it seems like I'm, uh, this thing is physically defensive, and I knew he was going to want to switch out here just because he couldn't do anything, so I decided to go for the Toxic, but I miss, which is very annoying, but I think, hey, there's not really much a Gyarados can do to me, right? So I just decided to go for the Toxic. Turns out I outspeed, which is kind of weird, but he goes for the Draco, and I'm like, well, balls, this is going to hurt. Um, and it does hurt, but I do manage to live with 66, which is quite nice because I can just protect and get a load of HP back with the Poison Hill. And uh, yeah, and now this thing's multi scale is broken, so that he's going to make it much easier for either Landorus or um, Mammoth Swine to kill it later down the line. So that's something I do not have to worry about anymore, so that's always nice. He goes into this Rachi now, and I thought he'd want to just want to go for a Wish or something, so that's why I tried to go for Earthquake here, but he goes for the Iron Head and this. Kind of gets annoying because this Jirachi is kind of just, uh, just annoying to deal with because I didn't, I didn't think like this, uh, flinching would happen as often as it does, but it does. So yeah, but he goes out into his Machamp weirdly, so I'm actually able to three hit KO this thing with an earthquake, even though this thing is probably a bulky variant. Um, yeah, I can actually outspeed and just keep going for earthquakes and almost killing him off. Dynamic punch, uh, not really an issue because I am confused, but I'm, I'm hoping I can hit through. Um, and I'm that is indeed what I do on this turn. I hit through and get off another earthquake and kill that Machamp. So that's quite nice because that Machamp is dead, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Not that it was really a threat to my team anyway, because I have a multitude of things that could really take it on, but at least Gliscor is still in a good condition. And I um I snap out here and I knew the thing was a Zorark, 
which uh, because it does it did have full HP compared to the Ferrothorn that came in earlier, which did not have full HP. So I just decided to go for the Protect Scouting for a special move, but um, he gets up a sub and then starts setting up nasty plots. I went into Bitch because Bitch can pretty much. Uh, just go for a U-turn because I know I can outspeed because I'm Scarf and I can just go for a U-turn, break his sub. Um, as he starts getting a bit greedy, he starts setting up a lot and I go into Roger because Roger is pretty much the least useful thing. It pains me to say that but Roger is probably the most, the least useful t thing on my team at this point. So I just decided, right, I'll just go into Roger and just uh, die and then go, I can go into Bitch and just kill this thing with a U-turn because looking at the range it's at, it will not be able to live one. Um, so I'm just going to go into Bitch now and just go straight for that U-turn because it won't be able to outspeed. I don't know why I didn't switch out, probably because it's uh, preserved the Sora for later. But either way, um, this Sora does die to a U-turn and now I can just go into my Landorus and in theory finish off the rest of his team because he only has Dorachi which is weak to my stab. He has Dragonite which is weak to HP Ice and he has Ferrothorn which is weak to Focus Blast. So in theory I should be able to sweep his entire the entire rest of his team because this Hidden Power is easily going to knock out this Dragonite because it's uh, multi-scale is broken and I am life orb um, and yeah just basically killing things um, so that Dragonite easily dies and now he's going to go into his Ferrothorn and you can guess what happens here can't you yeah it's the same I had in the last video miss the focus blast and the worst thing he goes to Gyroball and kills me so yeah but it turns out this Ferrothorn actually has dodge plus like 90 because I'm going to go into my uh, Infernape again here and I'm going to be able to go for the overheat which I'm pretty sure will kill but, you want to know what happens here? I missed this as well. So, I don't know what the hell is going on with this Ferrothorn. It must be have just finished its ninja training with Razol Ghoul or something. But, either way, I do manage to live that Gyro Ball, so that's nice. Because I can just go for another Overheat and KO this Ferrothorn. So, yeah, it didn't really matter too much for the miss, I suppose. It just made this match one turn longer. Because, uh, even though it was already lengthened by my Landorus missing the Focus Blast, so yeah, basically uh, annoying stuff all around, but finally this thing is going to die, uh, so that means he's going to go into his Jirachi now, and I decided to go for another Overheat just to see how much it would do, and it does actually half, so if I was at, like, if I had gone for Overheat at the beginning of the game, that probably would have killed, to be honest, but it doesn't really matter, because um, I, it's too late now, and I've pretty much won the game, because he only has this thing left, and I have four guys left, um, I went into Gliscor because I thought I'd be able to, like, Earthquake this thing, but it occurs to me after he hits these couple of Iron Heads that it's really pointless stalling like this, so I'm just going to go into Infernape again, um, and just sack it, die, and now I have a free switch into my Member Swine, who is still alive even after taking that Dragon Tail damage earlier, and I'm just going to be able to go straight the Earthquake and kill off that Jirachi. So, that was the end of the game, hope you guys enjoyed and everything. I'm off to go enjoy my birthday, even though it's on a Monday, which is a school day, so that'll be kind of shit, but I'll try and enjoy it. I'll be going to the pub later with my friends, so that'll be fun, um, and yeah, hope you guys have a nice day as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.